It's the Albion versus Chelsea, and it's quite simply a huge game for all concerned. Roberto De Zerbi, still without a win as Brighton boss, welcomes his predecessor, Graham Potter, who is unbeaten since taking charge at Stamford Bridge. A loss for the Seagulls would be a nightmare just before Halloween, but a win would rank as one of their most satisfying since promotion to the Premier League in 2017, given the highly emotional circumstances. We may be a week away from bonfire night, but you can expect fireworks in this one. We're underway at the Amex. Chelsea get us started amidst a chorus of boos. Mark Kukurea with his first touch at the Amex since leaving the club in the summer. And it's fair to say the fans are making their feelings known early on here. It was always a big game. Now it's one of the biggest games. The atmosphere here at the Amex is crackling with anticipation. Sterling wins it and it comes to Mount down the line for Sterling. He threads through the pass and it's hammered clear as Chelsea look to make early inroads. Leandro Trossard is after it and it's clipped back safely by Thiago Silva to the inform Kepa Manitha Balaga. Loftus Cheek who returns to the side, having been rested in midweek. Lovely and need a win who it comes against but it would be extra sweet to beat the returning Graham Potter they are unbeaten in all nine of Graham Potter's games in charge and Brighton yet to beat Chelsea in the Premier League although four of the last five meetings have ended in draws it's all gone Chelsea's way last season Adam Webster rescued a point here at the away game Stamford Bridge Danny Welbeck with that late late equaliser as Sterling makes his way forward it drops to Havertz That's well challenged by who else Caicedo now Trossard Trossard is after it Plenty of men in form finds Mitoma Matoma looking for the overlap of Estupinha and he's got pace but not that much. And Silva used all his experience to read it. And almost, Matoma almost got to it. Just eased out the picture by Chalabar. He's a live wire. His first Premier League start this afternoon. Ryan Potter liked what he saw in Matoma, gave him plenty of game time. Deserve be no different. Thiago Silva rescues Chelsea from the worst possible start. Woeful defending here. It was a poor clearance. Trossard controlled it beautifully. Couldn't have done much more with it. Clipped it goalwards. It was heading in. But for Thiago Silva, full stretch on the line. March with the corner. Over it goes. Good delivery as well. It'll drop Estupinha. And... Oh, and another off-the-line clearance. Frenetic start. Was it Thiago Silva again? I think it was. Great corner. Plenty of venom in that. Estupinha had steadied himself. That was flying in. Thiago Silva again. looks for options but leaves it for Gross Much tries 
tries to make room. Gross can't find a teammate. And the ex Crystal Palace lowly Conor Gallagher also gets a smattering of boos. Great press, March. Trossard has charged it down. Mitoma's onto it, and Mitoma could break free here. Kauru Mitoma, Trossard, if he sorts his feet out, he'll score. He does. crazy the Zerbi's on the pitch Trossard celebrates with the fans they deserved it a dominant opening spell from the Seagulls and Trossard seals it with the opener looked like he'd lost it a loose pass there Matoma was onto it Great ball this inside. He just kept his feet, danced round Aretha Balaga and Kukurea despairing on the line, couldn't keep it out. It's a great finish. Poise, precision and power. Perfection from Leandro Trossard. Estepinian has lost it. Sanchez hasn't. Great goalkeeping. Almost opened up for the pacey Pulisic. Estepinian just lost it. Sanchez was right there where he needed to be. Correa 
down the line. And that's not the ball that was required, and the Annex enjoyed that. A loose pass from Kukurea. Here's the goal again. Trossard with a loose touch, but then a loose pass. Matoma onto it quick as a flash. Great ball infield and Trossard kept his composure was perfectly poised to get round Aretha Balaga and clip it into the net Trossard wins the free kick challenge from Kovacic he's going for the ball but got plenty of march scored an outrageous goal in midweek Kovacic he's capable of it but his contribution so far is that yellow card Gross are over the free kick. You expect the German to be the taker. He is the taker, but he doesn't clear the first man. It does drop to Posado. Now Estupinian, his cross. It's a good one as well, and Aretha Balaga was clutching at it. Then he has gone out, March around his man. He's going to beat him twice here. Gross, March. Just a loose bit of control, and he did well to keep it. He's earned his side a corner. The Annex lapping up every second of this so far. Just under 12 minutes in. again with the kick over it goes drops to Caicedo's control is instant McAllister can't quite find the angle did the sensible thing it's over with a slightly loose pass they have now worked it to Estepina it's over the top for the Ecuadorian who takes it in his stride and finds Trossard he can't quite squeeze it across. It's enterprising attacking play from the Seagulls. Free flowing. Chelsea have no answers to the questions Brighton are posing so far. Hester Pina galloping down the left. Great control. Trossard trying to cut it back. This time it's a short corner. The angle is changed. And the corner. There's Alvin's more Brighton pressure. with the signal oh it's in 2-0 I'm not sure who turned it in but it doesn't matter Albion double their lead Chelsea cannot believe it another dangerous delivery from March and Loftus-Cheek has not covered himself in glory here
Graham Potter looks on quizzically. We've seen that look before. March's kick. Oh, it's off Loftus cheek, off the underside of the bar. Touch of misfortune. Loftus cheek stuck out a leg. There was Trossard and Webster to turn it in if he missed it. Loftus cheek getting it all wrong. And Albion 2 0 to the good before 15 minutes are up. A brilliant start. Well, what have Chelsea got by way of a response? They're looking to hit back instantly. The strike is low and true, but straight into the gloves of Sanchez. at the ball Solly March having a word with Zerbi on the touchline he's been a real danger man so far Solly March firing over corner after corner cross after cross Sterling goes down and is fouled Gross wags a finger in disagreement and again to win it back. Clever little turn from March, clattered by Mount, clear free kick. Gross taking his time, Webster goes home to Sanchez and across to Dunk, calmly done. Everything has been composed and crisp. Zerbi's bright side so far. Webster into Trossard. Trossard just losing out. Sterling is right onto it. Sterling into the middle. Gallagher. What a stop from Sanchez. There's the rebound and it's wide. The goal gaping. It looked like Chelsea were going to pull one back. And Pulisic cannot believe it. Neither can Gallagher. That is a splendid stop from Sanchez. Oh, it's a big miss from Pulisic. Gallagher put it too close to Sanchez, still needed saving. The Spaniards sprang up, but Pulisic fluffed his lines. That's a, a lucky escape. The first, really, for the Albion. dig it down the line for March, he's got the legs on Kukurea, he's got options in the middle as well, March up against Kukurea, March, infield he comes, McAllister out wide to Trossard, will it be three, Aretha Balaga makes the stop, it's long to have it, Lewis Dunn, oh him and Webster collide, communication issue there, we sort it out, little frantic as Chelsea try and make their way back into this game they dug themselves a hole Sterling trying to get them out of it here he is the block will March get to it he will the work rate of Solly March is obscene never ever stops once again the booze for Kukureya.
Sterling bends it across. Great delivery. A stunning save from Sanchez. Gallagher again. Sanchez again. Really dangerous delivery from Sterling. Pace on it. Gallagher guiding it towards the corner. And full stretch. Sanchez flung himself to his left. And beat it away for a corner. Really good battling from uh, both sides here. It's looped up for Sanchez. Chelsea, you can't question their work ethic, just the quality lacking so far. They are, it seems, just starting to get their mojo back, but once again, March sent scuttling away down the right-hand side. Kukurea with him. March can't find Grosko. Kovacic. Off his cheek. Look to make amends for his own goal. What a touch from Havertz. Put that under his spell beautifully. Now on his left. Havertz again. Sanchez is there. His gloves are warming up in the last few minutes few saves now, look at this touch from Havertz, perfect, always looking to shift it onto his left, Sanchez was wise to it, comfortable save. Sterling's kick is deep. The back in field, Loftus Cheek goes for it. The drop for Sterling after a few ricochets. Sterling can't beat two men. Well, he can, but he didn't. Gross. Well, he looks long towards Mitoma. A bad idea. Arifa Balaga is there. And Kukurea. Well, it looked like it came off him, but not so, says the officials. mad about the uh, award of the throw-in to Chelsea. Kukurea will take it, that's the decision. I say that. Goal kick. What a start to this game for that man and his team. De Zerbi showing all of the passion on the touchline. Matoma controls it well. His pass is not as good as his control. And Sterling again. Kovacic metronomic in that midfield, just shifts it out to the right-hand side where Pulisic will have a go at Estepinian. Estepinian sticks with him. Kovacic takes it on. Kovacic dancing his way to the penalty area and striking for goal. March just about scrambles it away. Webster was caught in an awkward place there. He's going to continue. Trossard. Oh, great feat from Leandro Trossard, the Belgian magician, showing he is such a big game player. Webster looks long. Too long for Lalana. Lalana gets there ahead of McAllister. on that for Havertz, that is meat and drink for this Albion defence, Adam Webster still feeling the 
after effects of the latest melee in the Brighton penalty area. He's just asking his goalkeeper for a moment or two, so Sanchez will take his time. One. He will. Great ball, Trossard. Oh, he's past the post. Couldn't quite get the touch he was looking for. Again, Albion show their threat. Esther Pinian. Plenty of stamina, plenty of pace, and the quality on the cross. You can see what Trossard was trying. Zerbi sinks to his knees. Close down quickly. Yeah. Just about gets the better of March. It's a good ball. And Gallagher steps onto it. Mr. Pena has some defending to do. Although Caicedo almost threw that good work away, which is rare for him. Smartly done from Escapina on the line for March. A shirt pull there from Kukurea by the looks of it. That's loose from Webster and he apologises to Sanchez. They do use... Sanchez almost as an outfield player, he's so comfortable on the ball, but got to be careful. Graham Potter will obviously know that. And he set up his team to try and capitalise on anything loose from Webster Dunn, Estepina. Anyone playing it back to the Spaniard. it into Trossard he's levered off the ball by Thiago Silva Webster can't quite find March but did enough time in the world as Matoma wins it Matoma looking to breeze past his man and no foul Andrew Madley was right on the spot and was decisive about it now Sterling Sterling Havertz Havertz great challenge from Gross it's a pat on the back for his troubles, really stuck to his task and needed to there. That is wonderful defending from Gross. Chelsea have a corner. Sterling once again on set-piece duties for the visitors. Sanchez dropped it. And the mix held its breath. This time Sanchez is firm. And then the long ball with the Balaga was well positioned to his credit. Trossard loves that ball. Arifa 
Balaga here, who came rushing out there to make the clearing header. May have injured himself. It was a uh, top quality replacement on the bench, Eduard Mendy. Again, March. Hug forward, March. They're getting in each other's way here, but Caicedo made space. Only found the side netting, and goal kick is the decision. And he gets forward to good effect, doesn't he, Caicedo? Dink over the top, March helped it on, got in each other's way, but then Caicedo flashing it goalwards. Did that catch the outside of the post? Did. Lucky there, Caicedo. Plenty of power. McAllister. Matoma. Looking for around the corner. It breaks for Mount. And now Sterling up against Webster. Sterling shimmies infield. And there's the space. And Havert is onto it. And he won't get there. He didn't have the legs. Getting in some dangerous positions, Kai Havertz. It's not quite coming off for him so far. This is good from Sterling, isolating Webster, working his way in field. There's the space, he found it. The touch is too heavy for Havertz. Well, Arika Balaga is definitely injured because there is Edouard Mendy getting warm. And Arika Balaga stretching. Out, well, a calf, a hamstring. Much going for it. Kukurea standing firm. Now McAllister has a look around it. Gross. March down the line. The beautiful thing about this Brighton display is that the threat is coming from absolutely everywhere. Down the left, Estepinian and Mitoma making inroads, March has been wonderful down the right-hand side, ably supported by Gross, playing in a more defensive role this afternoon. And through the centre, Trossard, Caicedo and Lalana finding some room. Trossard, that is wonderful. Just too much on it for Lalana just behind him and then Chalabar sorted his feet out quicker than Mitoma. Kovacic threads it. Space opening up in behind the Albion midfield at times. Gallagher now popping up on the right. Dunk tracking Pulisic. Doesn't need to dive in here and doesn't. Gallagher looks up, bends it across. Ooh, well, almost stealing in between two. Two balls on the pitch. Did their shape. Not at the back though, it's still back three of Chalabar, Silva and Kukurea. Just Gallagher's moved, moved out left, mount a little bit further forward. And Loftus cheek as well. Kovacic goes on a run, then loses it. Isado fouls his man. Now that's got back well. Alana giving it plenty to the referee. 
was a definite trip on Havertz there, but Alana probably making the point that the same happened to Mitoma and it just wasn't given. for Trossard in the false nine role, but it's not quite that today. It's almost him and Matoma as a front two, and it's worked really well. Although Chelsea certainly capable in attack here with Sterling. There's overlaps all over the place. Sterling goes to ground and no penalty for decision. I'm sure it'll be checked from VAR as Lee Mason. And there wasn't a big appeal. going to have a little check, let's have a look, yeah, that would be very soft, check, check complete, no penalty for Chelsea, correct decision, to dunk a little Cruyff turn control Mr Pina they don't need to force it here and they won't they'll find space intelligently and Mr Pina's popped up centrally and Milana back it goes to Caicedo out it goes to March this is wonderful football March with the dummy, March digs it across. Mr. Balaga got the touch. Estupinian collects. Infield to Caicedo. There's Estupinian again. Estupinian gets it across. And it will be an Albion corner. More fine attacking work down the left hand side from Estupinian. It's just very hard to stop when he's in full flight. to see Webster who scored against Chelsea last season or Dunk hit the back of the net this season now would be a wonderful time as we approach half time and Albion make it a three goal cushion and a flick wide of the post it was Webster in there he always seems to get on the end of things from set pieces good low delivery the flick was on target, might well have nestled in the corner. Trossard, March again in space. Chelsea just can't do anything about his movement. March on the line to Caicedo. March with the slide tackle takes it out for a goal kick. An all action display from March. Rika Balaga, Trossard, I'm going to give him a moment's peace. Surely stopped illegally there by uh, 
Marco Correa. The referee acknowledged it but said play on, you still got the ball. Marches up, Albion still have it. Has blunted their attack somewhat. March. Raking ball looking for Matoma. He controls it. And he's lobbed cross. Can't find anyone. <laughs> Just cheeked well to get that away because uh, this is the best throw and then Gallagher had to work really hard to keep it for the visitors Kovacic collects deep sets off towards the Albion half threaded passes and finding pockets of space Controls and Havertz finds Sterling. Sterling throws down. March. The line. Lovely control. This is the ball glued to his feet, the line. And Matoma with a chance to run at that Chelsea defence, which is backpedalling fast. Estepinian on the overlap. What a pass to find him. Estepinian across it goes. It's three. I think it's another own goal. Estepinian has threatened that all afternoon with his galloping runs down the left-hand side. They cannot live with it, Chelsea, and they cannot live with the Albion. 3-0 before half-time. This could be one of those days to remember at the Amex. Graham Potter scratches his chin. Estepinian salutes the crowd. It's a fabulous through ball. Caicedo finding Estepinian. His cross, yes, turned in by Chalabar. I think Matoma would have got there, but Chalabar knew he had to get something on it and he diverts it beyond Arifa Balaga. And that, if you're an Albion fan, is an absolutely glorious sight. Albion 3, Chelsea 0, and we've not even hit half-time. Kukurea goes long. That actually did look like a free kick on Sterling. Like he was held and tripped, but... Madley doesn't give it. Caicedo up. Such an impressive leap. March here, there and everywhere. It has been a fabulous display from March. An absolutely fabulous display. Listen to the crowd. They absolutely love Solly March. Graham Potter did two once upon a time, he won't be today. Once again it's March getting the better of Kukurea. Kukurea has been left exposed time and time again in this first half. You couldn't have dreamed of a better first 45 minutes if you're an Albion fan. Chelsea being blown away and Kukurea having a torrid time on the pitch. Kukurea can only 
really fine Caicedo. Now Trossard. Trossard dancing into the area. Loops up and it will be another Albion corner. Arifa Balaga starts the defensive inquest. They are all over the place when Brighton attack. Trossard having another wonderful day. Chelsea, to their credit, have shown a fair bit going forward. Sanchez has been busy at times, but defensively, they're a shambles. Could Albion, with one minute of added time to come, find a four before the break? In goes the kick. Drops to March, and Sterling goes to meet him. March onto his left. Turn. Sterling watching it closely. Caicedo and the head of glance wide. Is that Lalana in there? I think it was. He's only scored once for the club. Adam Lalana. His last goal came in March 2021 in that 2 1 defeat here to Leicester. Doesn't get many, but almost on the end of that one and into the back of Aretha Balaga's net. A breathless first 45 minutes. Brighton asking all the questions. Chelsea having absolutely no answers. Leandro Trossard once again amongst the goals and then two from Chelsea players, Loftus-Cheek and Chalabar. A wonderful first half that belongs solely to Brighton at the break. Albion three, Chelsea nil. Albion make their way back out after that blistering first half. Three goals to the good. You always believe in this Brighton team, but scarcely believable that they have brushed Chelsea aside so easily so far. Another 45 to play and a big 45. Roberto De Zerbi hunting his first win and that would come at the expense of Graham Potter's first defeat as Chelsea boss. There is a change at the break for Chelsea and it's in goal. Edouard Mendy replaces Kepa Aripa Balaga. Kepa obviously injuring himself towards the end of that half. Solly March gets us underway in the second half. March, the standout player of that superb first half display. And can Albion go on and kill this game off? Chelsea need goals and plenty of them, and they have created chances, but the more they go for it, the more they open up at the back, and Brighton have shown they are more than able to take advantage. Sterling, fancy footwork in there, Caicedo takes control. Kukurea had a torrid first 45 on his return to the Amex. There's a free kick for Chelsea. Gross, I think, the man to make the infringement. for Loftus-Cheek. Sterling. Loftus-Cheek is further right. Sterling more central as this second half begins. Silver out to Kukurea, who's found a bit of space. Didn't do too much attacking in that first half, the Spaniard. Might do here, though, as Mount races into it. Cross well blocked, Chelsea throw.
cleared. Gross in there again. Shalaba. Kovacic. Loftus cheek sets off. Matoma tracking him. Gallagher across. Great delivery. Great goal. Chelsea back in it right at the start of the second half. Kai Havertz pulls one back in front of the away end. Fine goal. Loftus Cheek did well down the right hand side. Brushed off Mitoma. Found Gallagher. And that cross is perfection. The header gave Sanchez no chance. But that cross from Gallagher arced in between defenders. It was pretty much straight at Sanchez, but from such a short distance that he couldn't get a meaningful touch to take it away. Oh, well, maybe he could have done. Might be a need to settle themselves here. They didn't want to lose an early goal, but they have. There's a good flick. Estupinha. Sterling takes out Estepinian, who's gone down, Mitoma. Mitoma, and past Loftus-Cheek, needs support. Instead he gets to the byline, cuts it back, Lallana was there, Kukurea away, McAllister, Estepinian still down, Gross, fires it goalwards, but gets underneath it. And now Sterling might be the recipient of a card here, for cutting down Estepinian in full flight. Oh, he's caught him badly there. Not a great challenge at all. He'll be threatening a fourth. Matoma doing ever so well, teasing Loftus Cheek. Cross was a good one. Kukurea away. Gross collected it beautifully, pinged it goalwards, but high and wide. Mr. Pina continues to get treatment. Sterling has been yellow carded for his challenge. Okay, Mr. Pina's okay. Here's a closer look at the foul. Oh, he's caught him right on the ankle, the Achilles. Outrageous control. The pass wasn't bad either. I'm not sure Pulisic, even he has the legs to get on the end of it. He doesn't. Over five minutes gone of this second half. The worst possible start for Brighton in the second half with Havertz clawing one back just to sow some seeds of doubt. won it back, didn't look like much, maybe just a little shirt pull on Loftus-Cheek. Caicedo then shoves Gallagher. Let's see, have the free kick. Gallagher irritated for a second, but he forgets about it because he's got work to do on the ball to try and uh, 
continue to get Chelsea back into this one. Matoma so close to picking Chalaba's pocket. Kovacic away. Look at the work rate from Matoma. They haven't got it back though, and Chelsea are on to it here. Sanchez, great reaction save. Needed to be as well. Real end to end. Albion would prefer greater control, but Chelsea too good really to keep at bay for 90 minutes. Here was the counter, Kovacic hounded by two, got his pass away. Then it was threaded and the cutback came off. Mount who collected came off gross. Great stop from Sanchez. Great reactions. March foul. Deserbi has got through. Almost as much work in his technical area as the players have on the pitch. He's been out there the whole time. Now the free kick goes Chelsea's way. March not having it all his own way in the second half as he was in the first. goes Brighton's way but there might be a foul or an offside but neither forthcoming from Andrew Madley the official just a throw Estepinian takes quickly Lewis Dunk controls carefully and plays it back carefully and Sanchez flat trajectory on the kick Chalabar is right behind it though just being a little braver on the ball in the second half trusting their technique and their instincts a little more Ball. Trossard oh Trossard overplayed it March was going in behind but Lalana was the easy ball Mount Great work from Mason Mount, away from McAllister. Now Pulisic, Kukurea on the overlap. Pulisic comes in field. Mr. Pignan is perfectly, perfectly placed to get it away from Sterling. He can thread it. Esther Pinan on the move. Lift his cheek holds it and then loses it. Warming up Obamiang. So much talent on that Chelsea bench. Jorginho Obamiang. Royer, Chilwell, Ziesch, that's Pilaqueta. Game changes there. Trossard, not the ball. Gross doesn't want to chase, leaves it to Kukurea. Can't control it, which 
Hughes just as well because he had space down the right hand side. The Chelsea right is having a much better second half than he did first, which is pretty much true for everyone in the change strip of the visitors. Again, floating into space. Poseida. Surely fouled there, and he was. Made it clear to the referee that he was pulled back. Mason Mount, the culprit. Long ball for Trossard. Chalapar. A bit of a muddle there. Trossard still has it. Matoma, a runner. Trossard still has it. Chalapar battled back really well. Trossard has won it back. Tigerish forward play. Estepinian in field. McAllister rolls it calmly to March, who lines it up. Albion on the attack again. Great to see. Can they maintain the pressure? Webster with one of his surges through the middle. March. Webster wants it down the line. He's not going to get it. Oh, look at that from March. Webster, clip cross, and Mendy is right behind it. Safely into his grasp. come forward again. Ulisic to mount and lines it up and drags it wide. More than capable of course Mason Mount put himself on the score sheet at Villa Park a couple of weeks ago but that one is dragged well well wide. Trossard helping it on, but neither Matoma nor Estepinian had moved into the space that Trossard had seen. We've hit the hour mark. Albion still with a two-goal cushion, but the game feels more delicately poised than it did at half-time. Next goal, as always, is crucial, but feel if Chelsea get at their belief will surge and here's Loftus-Cheek trying to get that second goal took a deflection Chelsea corner if Albion get the next goal then you'd think game over but Chelsea look the light clear in the second half Loftus-Cheek carrying plenty of threat from the right Mount curls it across. What a goal word. Sanchez gets to it. It's not uh, fully cleared. Matoma does curl it away. Trossard will go after it. Actually, Gross will go after it. And Correa will get there first. Chelsea preparing some substitutes. Chilwell and Aubameyang stripped and ready to come on. Albion are going to make a change as well. to Sterling, not with Robert Sanchez there, grasped it brilliantly, commanding goalkeeping, now it's Matoma, stepping in field of Gallagher, Matoma again, 
Well, they've given it away here. Albion just starting to look a little tired, a little unsure of their passes, and they've let that one fall to Havertz. They've won it back, though. Trosser. Good, that goes to Lalana. Lalana was he fouled by Chalabar? He wasn't, but Trossard is onto it. And Trossard collects and pours forward. Estupinian to his left, Matoma ahead of him. Trossard continues on his own. Will Estupinian get there? He won't. Goal kick. We'll get some changes now. One surprising one and two not so much of a surprise. Raheem Sterling on a yellow card, replaced by Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. The second Chelsea change is Christian Pulisic coming off for Ben Chilwell. And there's a huge moment coming here for young Julio Enciso. Wearing 20, he is about to make his Premier League debut. Well, they changed that substitution. It's actually Mark Kukurea coming off rather than Pulisic, who's come to the right-hand side. So Kukurea is off. So here is the young Paraguayan. He's only 18, featured in the League Cup, but he is on for Kaoru Matoma, who is definitely... Or maybe not Matoma. Matoma's being sent back. Well, both managers seemingly changing their minds here. Or maybe Matoma was just mistaken. Lalana comes off. That's a bold change from Roberto De Zerbi. Julio Enciso, a Premier League debut. What a game to make it in. Kukurea booed as he comes off the booze and not for Lalana. He is warmly applauded. Another fine display. And Ciso comes on. I wonder how that will look in terms of team shape. Can the young Paraguayan make his mark in the Premier League? So, making his presence felt here. Back to Mendy. Oh, Mendy's given it straight to Matoma. He cuts it inside. Trossard goes for goal and he went too high with Enciso in the middle. That was easy for Mendy. Careless from Chelsea, though. So it went back to Mendy. His pass out. He's not as comfortable on the ball as. Aritha Balaga at all, Matoma through the legs of Chalabar, Trossard and a dig out, a spectacular finish and couldn't. And now Pulisic away from Estupina. Caicedo is there with him, Pulisic continues his run but Lewis Dunk watchful. And Pulisic's run it out of play and it will be an Albion throw, outstanding from Dunk. Absolutely outstanding, using all of his experience, all of his nous. He knows he doesn't have as much pace as Pulisic. So he just saw him away from the penalty area and pinched it and then took the throw for his side. Chalaba. Now goes Silva. goes for Havertz whose control as it has been all afternoon is instant Chelsea's goal scorer who their best route back into the match Gallagher who teed up the Chelsea goal now it's lost his cheek looking to tee one up himself Pulisic could play this from Chelsea good block though from Estupinian Gallagher Pulisic lines one up March gets good spring on the header and Ciso. 
quite get it away from his man. Ben Chilwell, it's his first touch since coming on. Aubameyang, He's floating with menace. And back to Sanchez, and Sanchez gets it away. Oh, finds a teammate as well, Matoma curls it down the line. Chalabar goes backwards, Mendy is there. Oh, look, Mendy has got in a right muddle. He's caught in CISO as well. Calamit almost calamitous goalkeeping from Mendy. The lack of communication between him and Thiago Silva almost costing the visitors. And CISO really buzzing around. Kovacic and caught by Nciso. It'll be a free kick. See how bad... Yeah, he was caught quite badly, actually, in the back of the, the calf, the Achilles area. And that's turns it in field. The challenge, and Nciso was there. Nciso quite control it. Midfield for Havertz, Chalabar under pressure from Mitoma. I certainly want to put Mendy under pressure after his, uh, his last touch, but these are more incisive passes from the substitute goalkeeper, now Havertz, now Aubameyang, bodies in the middle, Aubameyang lines it up and Sanchez, flying stop, still alive here for Chelsea. And it's blocked, Chelsea corner, it's over 20 minutes to play, Sanchez's palm stung once again here, this time by Aubameyang. A curler, and he had to stretch. Mount takes, flicked away, and as far as Chilwell, Chilwell drags it. And getting into that territory where Albion will be looking to eke away the, the seconds, the minutes, by just taking their time. for Nciso, not going to thrive on those, goes after Kovacic again though, Kovacic breezes through the midfield of Bamiang and good cover, really important cover from Estepinian, he's had a fine game, his best in a Brighton shirt, look at this, Kovacic far too easy to get through the middle there and find a Bamiang, but Estepinian covering wonderfully. Home to Sanchez. Webster into Matoma. McAllister. Oh, can't quite thread it to Estepinian on the stretch. He was trying to get there. If he did, it may well have opened up. Here's Loftus Cheek. Now Pulisic. Loftus Cheek goes again. Pulisic ignores it. This is a run at this Albion defence, but then gives it short to Gallagher. Diving in, trying to keep Chelsea at arm's length. Now they dive in, and now the free kick is given. Mount protecting it well here from McAllister. It's another change. Matoma comes off, Lamptey comes on in his place. The Amex rises to salute their cult hero, Kaoru Matoma. Still yet to score for the club, but 
teed one up for Trossard today and on his first Premier League start could be Roberto De Zerbi's first win as Brighton boss. Still plenty of time left in the game yet though. short to surprise Kovacic a little then he floats it and Lewis Dunk does what he does best composed defending to calm the situation down he loves a chest back to his goalkeeper almost as much as Pascal Gross loves a Cruyff turn cheer for Lamptey Lamptey with a rather rusty looking touch and Havertz Here's the curler and Sanchez couldn't hold it but knew that no one was following up. Mr Pina and Ciso goes, he wanted it, wanted it early in behind Loftus Cheek. Trossard caught by Chalaba. And McAllister just wastes a few seconds by passing it away, knowing that the free kick had been given. Trossard caught, but not a malicious challenge from Chalaba. Dunk over the top, testing in Ciso's pace. Couldn't quite get to it. Julio and Ciso. And to win something for his side. And then Loftus Cheek goes down, and that was a soft one. He was always looking to go down. He was in a tight spot. Andrew Madley, I think, has fallen for one there. Yeah, there's there's not. I was gonna say not a lot in it, there's nothing in it. Now Nix wants it further back in the corner, so it's not even being taken from the right place. Mendy forward. March leaps high and Trossard controls, not once, not but twice, and then looks over the top. March beats Chilwell to it. Lamptey's the runner, here comes Lamptey, flying forward, good looking cross as well, but then Ciso, although he was lurking, couldn't beat Mendy to it. That's Lamptey at his best, flying forward much like Estepinian did, to great effect in the first half down the left. Hoping Lamptey can have as much impact down the right hand side. Kovacic seems to be able to breeze through the centre of Alpine's midfield at will. Looking for Mount. Oh, Alpine struggle to clear their lines here. Chilwell's cross and Sanchez calm, composed and collects. And he rolls it out to Estepina. Albion not settling for their two-goal cushion. On the hunt for a third here. Here's Enciso. And Ciso away from his man, lining it up, and Ciso stings the palms of Mendy, who was right behind it. So give us the angle. How uh, close was it to Mendy? Uh, right down his throat. Either side, and he may have been struggling. Potter is calling for further reinforcements to Chelsea's attack. Armando Breuer and Hakim Ziyech are ready to come on. Gallagher, Kovacic again with the space. Mount, wide left for Chilwell. Mount. Gallagher, Estepinian there again, helped on Francisco. 
And Ciso, he's away from his man, and Ciso, through on goal, he's got Trossard to his right, can he find Trossard? And Ciso, and he's dragged it, I think it'll be a corner. Oh, the decision-making wasn't the best, but it was a thrilling run from Enciso there. Just nudged it away from Chalabar. Could have passed it then, could have passed it then. The angle was closed down and then Enciso had to shoot. Rather ran out of steam. Chelsea wants to make these changes as quickly as possible. with the corner and Ciso wants it short Chelsea pull everyone back maybe another few on the edge here Lamptey, Caicedo and Estepinian as the corner comes across and will drop to Estepinian his deliveries from the left have been great this afternoon and they are again and it's a dipping header and came off March Gallagher appealing that could be his last touch before he's taken off. There was the cross from Estepinian. It was Webster again, flashing a header across goal. So Conor Gallagher replaced. Combative display and an assist, but... Looks at the moment like it's going to end in defeat. And by no means guaranteed with the firepower of Armando Breuer and the trickery of Hakim Ziyech, who scored here last season on for Chelsea. Webster up and into the stands. We're not quite but we're approaching anywhere will do territory. Chelsea, no time is not on their side. Kovacic, fouled by Gross. Chip forward, a rather wasteful looking long ball because Dunk is there. Lamptey takes over and can't find Trossard. Mendy collects. Will there be any further changes from Deserbi? He has substitutes warming up. Might even be one just to waste a few seconds as Dunk gets there. Lamptey. Well, Lamptey took a touch. Plays it forward and March has fouled Chilwell. The Amex is nervy. And he wants these final ten minutes to fly past rather than the agonising countdown towards that final whistle. This win would mean so much. his cheek and Ciso with him Ziesch the switch is on Albion a little deep Mount given space to run into Chilwell his cross and Sanchez took one step back and plucked it out of the air more commanding goalkeeping from a very commanding goalkeeper Ciso and tries to force it in field get there, Caicedo oh he's lost it now i will be making a few errors McAllister and Ciso and Ciso down the line, he's rapid and fancies a run and he's not going to give it up and he hasn't given it up and the free kick has gone Chelsea's way and that looked one of the more innocuous of the decisions that have gone against them in recent minutes and Ciso not happy at all no I don't think that's a foul either
Mendy. To Thiago Silva. Loftus-Cheek, that was a foul by Nciso, a clear one. And that will be a yellow card for the youngster. And a free kick in a dangerous position. Basically just hauled Loftus-Cheek down. Comes from Ziesch. Oh, Sanchez, I don't think was sure there. He had plenty of bend on it, and Sanchez backpedaled. He's now uh, having a bit of a joke with Lewis Dunk about it, but that was very threatening from Ziesch. Again, Albion will take their time. Keep it in. <laughs> Loftus cheek. Ziesch. Trapped by a Stepina and he's got through an awful lot of work up and down that left hand side. And again, Field to Caicedo. It's a really good ball as well. Trossard flicks it through. Helped on for Trossard, but Mendy is there. A tired pass, and we are going to see another change. Jeremy Sarmiento came on at the Etihad last weekend for his first appearance of the season. Is going to make another fresh legs with five to go. his cheek there's the cutback and blazed into the away end by Havertz that was the chance to really set nerves jangling here at the Amex and Havertz fluffed it good ball to Loftus cheek cutback was good Havertz leaning back never troubling Sanchez Leandro Trossard comes off Jeremy Sarmiento in his place, another superb display by the Belgian, another goal. Sarmiento will provide fresh legs and pace on the counter. Sarmiento but Loftus Cheek wins it. Caicedo. He's being hauled to the ground. One friend Ciso to chase it. Talabar. Oh, he's, uh, he's won the throw for Chelsea.
Chalaba back to Mendy. Here's De Zerbi kicking every ball, crunching into every tackle. On the touchline, he's feeling it all. And he is close, very close to his first win as Brighton boss as another overhit Chelsea pass ends up in the hands of Sanchez and Solly March who was irresistible in the first half has had to be more disciplined in the second goes down it'll just be a bit of cramp or a slight tweak he may need replacing and there's Mark Kukurea his last action here was thundering in a goal in that riotous win over Manchester United, then the transfer to Chelsea, now his return and not been a good one for him, neither Graham Potter who is being goaded by large portions of the Amex faithful who will have loved almost every second of this, there's been some tension plenty of emotion but now they feel confident enough to believe that the win is theirs, the three points are theirs Here's the kick from Sanchez. Sarmiento controls and turns. And he's... Oh, Loftus-Cheek has lost it. Oh, the free kick has gone Chelsea's way. And that angers the crowd who feel antagonised by some of the decisions from Andrew Madley. He looks fierce. forward, Webster nods it, Gross can't control it, Chalabar back to Mendy, we've hit the 90 minute mark, we're seeing five minutes to be added, that's understandable with a couple of injury stoppages and the amount of substitutions we've had, Chelsea know they need something special and it really would be something special, Albion are so close, they need to keep it, but they've lost it. Breuer, Chilwell. Chilwell looks long. Ziyech will get to it, and they'll win the corner off Estupinian. It's going to happen for Chelsea. They have to score here. Mount across. Drops for Kovacic. His flick, not a good one. March. Caicedo. And Albion can break here. Can they finish Chelsea off? Lamptey to March. Will they try to? Will they hold it? Lamptey's down the line. Here he is. In the middle is Enciso. Throwing goes Chelsea's way. It's threatening to spill over here at the Amex. And I think rightly so in the sense that so many decisions have gone against Brighton. So many. That's a clear foul as well. A clear foul on Lamptey. And Cisa. Got Gross. Oh, he's got Gross to his left, but he went for goal. And Cisa. Can he finish it? There's the save. Gross. It's there. They killed it. 4 1. The three points are theirs. And Roberto De Zerbi will be celebrating his first win as Brighton boss tonight. Oh, how they've deserved it.
Listen to the emotion around the Amex. They wanted this so badly and they've got it. Graham Potter stands and stares as the Albion players, his former players, celebrate in front of him. VAR are checking for offside though, which could spoil the party somewhat. It won't change the result, but it will potentially spoil it. He looked on to me, but it's marginal. And CISO, who had one shot saved, two shots saved, Gross was there. Mendy did his absolute utmost to keep the ball out, but couldn't. Still the check goes on, he's onside, it counts, and Albion have a 4-1 lead against Chelsea with, well, seconds remaining really. The Amex can just breathe a sigh of relief and enjoy the final moments here. Ball forward. Lamptey can't get to it. He does this time back to Sanchez who manages to scrape it clear and save a corner at the expense of a throw. Alex is bouncing. Webster brings it away and CISO. He's trying to get on the end of it. Webster's still there. Caicedo just brushes off Ziyech. Now Sarmiento. Have they got the energy, the audacity to go for five? Sarmiento. Going to keep it, but the crowd, they want five. And Sarmiento bends it ambitiously, but way wide. Applauded by De Zerbi, who will be thrilled by the performance from start to finish. There's the final whistle, the Amex, raucous and emotional all afternoon, roars its approval at a fine win. Roberto De Zerbi's first as Brighton boss. They blew Chelsea away in the first half with some thrilling attacking play and then kept the visitors at bay with a disciplined, determined defensive display in the second, capped by the icing on the cake with Pascal Gross's last-minute goal. It's one of the great days at the Amex, and it ends. Albion 4, Chelsea 1.